Hi, an application of mole fraction with gases. This is really cool. Look at this formula right here. The partial pressure of gas A equals the mole fraction of gas A times the total pressure. Now, what is so cool about this um, is you can think your way through it. Okay, so imagine a container with a mixture of gases. All these gases are hitting the side of the wall. Let's pretend like the gases are oxygen and nitrogen. Now, I found the mole fractions of these. Um, of the 100% of the moles, okay, of the total moles, 43% of the moles are oxygen, and 57% of those moles are nitrogen. So you have all these collisions happening. That means of the pressure that this container is experiencing, the collisions on the side of the wall, 43% of the pressure comes from oxygen, and 57% of the pressure comes from nitrogen because of their mole fractions on the moles. Now I come up here. Guess what? All you have to do is multiply. Mole fraction, so 43% of all of the uh, moles are, are the oxygen. It means that 43% of all the total pressure comes from the oxygen. So that's why you can multiply those. If you can think your way through that, you have all these molecules hitting. Well, the fraction of each, mo of each gas in that mixture is going to contribute to the total pressure. So let's say that I want to find the pressure of oxygen. So partial pressure of oxygen is going to be mole fraction of oxygen times the total pressure. Let's pretend that we're at San Diego, we're sea level, and that the total pressure equals 760 millimeters of mercury. So I can simply take the mole fraction, that's 0.3, here it is, for the oxygen, times 760 millimeters of mercury. And that's going to give me the amount of pressure contributed by the oxygen, is partial pressure. Uh, let's do another one. I want to take the nitrogen. So we're going to have uh, 0.57, 57% of all of the moles come from nitrogen. Simply multiply that by the total and the partial pressure for the nitrogen is 434. Nitrogen, 434 millimeters of mercury. Now, I do want to show you this. When you take, uh, if I go back to Dalton's partial pressure lab, um, when I take the total pressure right here, it has to add up to the partial pressure of oxygen and the partial pressure of the nitrogen. So if the nitrogen is 434, I can tell you right now, when I do 0.3 times 760, that is going to be 346. 346, should we check that? It's 346, make sure I did my math right. Oh, it's off by two. 326, sorry about that. 326 millimeters of mercury. 326 plus 434. So partial pressure of oxygen plus partial pressure of nitrogen equals total pressure equals 760. So ah, oh, how all of these tie together. Think about the gas molecules hitting the sides of the container. Make it make sense um, that when you have a mixture, when you have a mixture, it just depends on the amount of molecules for each substance hitting that side of the container and that's what's going to contribute the pressure, the pressure. So overall, mole fraction, awesome. Mole fraction, mole fraction of gases inside of a mixture. If you wanna find the partial pressure, really easy. Take the mole fraction of that substance times the total pressure, and it will tell you the pressure um, that's contributed, the partial pressure of that particular compound. Pretty cool. Simple, straightforward, but powerful. All right, good work, thanks.